Okay, when you move, place the cursor on a map symbol, you want to go and press the circle button. Oh crap, what the hell? If you don't understand, press the select button for the help message. Hang on, what the hell happened? Okay, there you go. Okay. When organizing units, saving data, etc., press the triangle button. The main command will appear. Okay, tutorial is in the main command. Game rules, how to fight, setting up units, and game tips for beginners are listed. I'm definitely gonna need that. Garland, Magic City. And then we're going to Mandalia Plains and eventually Egros Castle. Bar, shop, soldier office. What's in the bar? Uh. Rumor? Okay. Welcome. Come in, relax. The death corpse. All right. This rumor is about the death corpse. Robberies are on the rise in various areas, and Galleon is no exception. Wagon wagon hijackings and abductions are rampant. Now, a group of former criminals and mercenaries called the Death Corpse have been making the most trouble for the Hakuten. Okay. This rumor is about the King Amdoria. There is a great concern over King Amdoria. Amdolia. Is it Andoria or Amdolia? I honestly feel like this is a uh, mistranslation in Japanese because, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the L is sometimes pronounced as R in Japanese, so, yeah, I think it's Amdolia. There's a great concern over King Amdolia who collapsed at the at Prince Arenas' birthday celebration. The board of Chamberlains reported his fever had subsided, but he'll take three weeks to recover. It'll be several months before he can make any public appearances. But since most public policy is made by Queen Revulia, Ruvelia, no turmoil is expected. Okay, the 50-year war. Oh, whoops. 50-year war. This rumor is about the 50-year war. A war that caused terror for nearly 50 years between Ivalice and Ardalia. Known as the 50-year war. The war was ignited when King Diwanu died without naming a successor. The throne was succeeded by Diwanu's brother, Valoa. But... Dinamuda, Dinamunda of Ivalice declared war. This was only an excuse. The real reason was because of Zelamonia, a territory of Ivalice running along the Ordalian border. It was once independent, but was annexed over a century ago after an invasion. Ivalice supported Ordalia, but the result was failure. The result was failure. Okay. Unrest among the nobles and in the cities of Zelamonia, along with Ordalia's rule, led them to seek intervention from Ivalice. With victories in the early battles, Ivalice's army marched on the capital of Bura. But King Dinamuda fell ill and was never to return to his kingdom. The confusion gave the Ordalian army an opportunity. As Valoa was successful in holding off Ivalice's army, approximately two years Okay, approximately two years approximately two years stalemate Okay. The grammar is so off. I don't know. I think the translation was just really bad at this time. Okay, approximately the two-year stalemate was broken by the Romandan army's invasion. Romanda is a military state separated from Ivalice by Larnal Channel under King Valoa's orders, a blood relative. They marched on Ivalice, but Dinamuda, who succeeded King Dinam, but Dinamunda, who succeeded King Dinamunda was a brave warrior against both the Romanda and Ordalian armies. An, out an outbreak of bubonic plague in Romanda forced them to retreat in three years. The two squads most affected in the war were the Hakuten, led by Bal Balbanes, or Balbanes, and the Nanten, led by T.G. Sid. Okay, Sid is mentioned here. They scored many victories as they marched in Ordalia, but the long war was disastrous for both administrations. Farmers' revolts and riots broke out in many areas, as both kingdoms focused their war efforts within their borders. This made another stalemate broken only by the death of King Dinamunda, widely believed to be assassinated. His successor, Amdolia, was not fit to lead the kingdom and left all matters of the state to the elder statesmen and the queen. Therefore, there was no power to drive the troops of Prince Leonard, Valois' successor, out. 
After following the invasion of Zoltan Zoltania, battles that both the Hakutan and Nantan fought in, Ivalice hoped for peace. Realizing the war was useless, both kingdoms agreed on peace. Focusing their efforts within the respective borders. Okay, yeah. Focusing their efforts within their respective borders, although the agreement was bilateral, Ivalice surrendered. Soon after, Ivalice's economy was on the brink of bankruptcy because of severe war reparations. Payments could not be made to returning soldiers, and a large group of knights were discharged. As a result, high unemployment and uncertainty and distrust filled Ivalice. Now, I don't really understand what the hell happened there because the translation was a little bit off, and that was like a mouthful. It was a wall of text, but... The basic gist is, whatever's happening now is the aftermath of this 50-year war. And in this 50-year war, um, it left Ivalice with a lot of... Uh, well, they're a little bit short on cash, so they can't really pay any of these soldiers. And these soldiers kind of get pissed off that they, they, they sacrifice their life for whatever reason or another to the kingdom. And then they don't get, you know, their due recompense, so... Uh, they turn to a life of stealing, thievery, and whatnot. So, I assume that's what that means. Uh, war funds. Okay. I have 4,500 war funds. Let's go to the shop and let's see what's up here. Welcome. What can I do for you? Fitting room. What? Hmm... Okay, there's a rod and an oak staff. I don't really know what this rod and an oak staff are used for. Nobody can equip it. <laughs> Alright. Soldier office. Male fighter. How about this soldier? Wait, how much do I pay? Where do I see how much they cost? Oh, there. 1,500. Right below. Um, how about a female fighter? What's the difference? Is it the stats? And it's their equipment. What the heck? Brave and faith. I don't know what those stats mean. Okay, wow. The females have higher faith, but... A lot less brave. I don't know what... I really don't know what any of that means. Alright, let's just leave the store and figure it out later. Okay, Mandalia Plains. Let's see what happens here. Having attained the highest rank of Heavenly Knight, the brave Balbanes was facing his final breath. Or final days, I think. Beulv. Balbanes, how goes the battle? Through sift action, we were able to recover Limbury. It's only a matter of time before our Dahlia army leaves Zoltania. Don't worry. The secret messenger is sent to Count Lenario has returned. This is Lord Dice Jarg. Count Lenario has agreed to your plan. Good. Then, at last, this long war will finally come to an end. Father. Don't cry, my daughter. Where is Ramza? Just when we need him most. Dice Jarg, Zalbig, my beloved sons. Take care of Ramza. He may be your half-brother, but he is my own flesh. Father! Lower your voice. I'm glad you came. Let me look at you. 
Father. It's been a long time. You've become a fine man. You start the academy in spring, don't you? Listen, Ramza. Abiyulv has served the royal family for generations. The warrior spirit is within us. Never shame your name. Never tolerate injustice. Loving true to your heart is the warrior's way. The Beulf way. I understand, father. Delete is a good boy. He should serve you well. I've asked the dean to accept him into the academy. It shocked the dean a bit. He will serve you well. Treat him well. Y yes father Take good care of Alma. Become a fine knight, Ramza. That it? You just died like that? What's after this? Are we straight into a battle? What the heck? Okay, yeah. Looks like we're running straight into a battle. Um... Okay. Four units, would that be enough? I have no idea if it is. Still breathing, what'll we do? Don't be stupid, we just need to get the Marquis. Right. Hey, don't blame us, blame fate. What? Damn, the Hakuda Knights. Death Corpse? They attacking someone? One, our duty is to destroy the Death Corpse. Two, saving him is our priority. Um... Honestly, I feel like Ramza at this point in time is uh, sort of something like this. This is, this feels like the right answer, but... No, let's go saving him is our priority. Don't disgrace the knights. Saving him comes first. Save Algus. Okay, Delita, do your thing. Reinforcements? Thank God. All right. Little John, that's his name. Oh God, there's a dog. Okay, they're all piling up now. Will it reach? No, it will not. Just wait a bit.
Somebody's about to use a potion. What the hell? The heck did Ramza do to you? Okay, I think it's about time we heal this dude. Finally. Okay, um... Okay. Okay, only eight. Come on, Delita, do your thing. Okay, took both of them out. Oh, it can counter, what the heck? Wait, hang on. There you go. No, we'll just face this direction. This guy's about to die. I kind of want him, like, dead. Ramza might get, yeah, he's gonna get back to attacked here. So, uh oh. Do you think this thing is gonna kill Ramza? Ooh. Okay. I think I can handle this guy.
All right. Okay, let me move out of the way. Per yeah, preferably somewhere here. Okay. Where the hell are you going? Oh, it's the wish. Thank you. Okay, why is everyone just lined up over here? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can take this guy out. Okay, this dude better run. Oh, this guy's gonna die soon. Not even gonna bother healing. Where are you running off to, dude? There you go. Are you okay? Barely. But the Marquis. Marquis? You mean Marquis Elmdor? Yeah. Who are you? We're military cadets. I think we can help. Tell us more. All right. 700 gil. Potion, potion. Just two potions. Okay. Wait, didn't I get a, like a mithril dagger or something? I should give that to him. Totally forgot about that. I'm Algus of the Limbury Aegis Knights. A knight? I mean, a cadet like you all. I'm Ranza Beolf. This is the leader, a good friend. Beolf of the Hakutan? Excellent. How lucky am I? How lucky I am. Huh? I beg you, please help me save the Marquis. What are you talking about? The Marquis is still alive. They kidnapped him. He will be killed if we don't act fast. I don't know what I don't know what I would do if So please, help me. Please. Relax, relax. We don't know for sure if he'll be killed. There must be some reason for Death Corpse to take him. They might have made some demands. Besides, there's nothing we can do. The Marquis was kidnapped, and I'm sure not by now everyone know everyone at Igros Castle is up in arms. First, we should go to Igros and report. Alright, let's do that. Okay, um, 
I'm not really following what is happening in the story. Or, you know, what uh, I still don't know what the what the big or the main story is going to be all about. Okay, Igros Castle. 